Now tonight, it's supposed to be an inclusive event, a global rally for humanity scheduled for tomorrow. Instead, though, cops are on alert because of some serious threats to Muslim Americans. Across the country, there could be protests and there could be guns outside mosques, including some right here in New York. It is tonight's cover story with James Ford. There you have it, the imagery, the music, the title. It's promoted as a worldwide event that affirms the human spirit. But the global rally for humanity has police on alert nationwide at places like this, the Islamic Cultural Center of New York, a place that hosts scholars and visitors of a wide variety of faiths, as well as places like the neighborhood mosque in Astoria, Queens, that's within two blocks of a half dozen churches, or at a mosque like this where afternoon prayers just finished. We come to pray and worship God. The people coming in and out of here are simply exercising their constitutional right in which Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. But that is literally what the Global Rally for Humanity is against. It's an online call for what it describes as patriots to gather outside of Muslim houses of worship Friday during prayers to protest Islam in 20 cities nationwide. It was started, by the way, by this man, John Ritzheimer. That's him in the F Islam t-shirt. is closely affiliated with other known hate groups, including the one sponsored a highly offensive Draw Muhammad cartoon contest last spring, which was attacked by Muslim extremists, who police in turn shot and killed. Although this isn't happening in our home front, it's a big concern because you never know what's going to come. A spokesperson for the Council on American Islamic Relations points out that New York area mosques are not specifically on the list. But nonetheless, this statement has been issued by the NYPD about the rally for humanity. Our community affairs personnel have been and will be in contact with Muslim leaders throughout the city. In the event of any demonstrations, NYPD resources will be deployed to ensure order and safety. Worshippers have been warned to be safe, and they also plan on a demonstration of their own, a peaceful one, they say, is based on the Prophet Muhammad. Muhammad faced a lot of protests. He had people throwing stones at him. He had a lot of people ask him, well, why are you engaging with the Jewish leaders? Why are you engaging with the Christian leaders? And he said, that's what Islam teaches us. The rally for humanity, though, is part of a larger situation. When front-running presidential candidates say things like this... I would not advocate that we put a Muslim in charge of this nation. Even though the guiding document of our country neither respects nor prohibits any religion, and where, in Yonkers right now... The group wants to turn it into a mosque. A petition and permit request have been filed secretly to try and stop an Islamic center from being built it can indicate there may be open anti-Muslim discrimination. But Muslim activists tell PIX11 News they're looking at it positively. We're encouraging people to take this situation and use it as a way to educate the community. We are highlighting, though, and uh, giving attention to these terrorist groups. Am well, I that correct? Right, right. Groups that have been acknowledged by a wide variety of sources to sure. be really hate groups. Sure. But the Council on American Islamic Relations is saying, look, the information about this event is out there, and that's why they feel they should use it to to u use the publicity that it's garnering to try to educate people about Islam and about the free and open practice of religion. Okay. All right, James. Thank you so much.